Tori Berber Salazar, T O R I B E R B E R S A L A Z A R. Attorney, founding member, CEO of TBS Law. Ms. Salazar, first, it was a really quick hearing in there. Can you quickly recap what happened and what's going to happen on May 29th? Sure. We Today is the first time we've made 11 requests, uh, excuse me, 10 requests for discovery. The district attorney's office refused to provide any until right now in court. So we haven't had a chance to even look at any of the discovery. So we asked for a continuance until May 29th in order for us to take a look at the documents and get a better understanding of what's going on. In layman's terms, discovery, is that evidence that the DA's office is using? What, what's in there? It's going to be crime reports, interviews, phone records, uh, bank records, credit card records, things like of that nature. Until the 29th, will there be any sort of evidence or anything that you're garnering on your side to be prepared to respond? We've been overwhelmed and truly grateful for the number of whistleblowers who have come forward from the district attorney's office to the sheriff's office to SUSD to county agencies. People coming forward to provide us with information and access to emails, text about the amount of corruption that is going on and that is not being investigated. Seven million dollars is missing. Seven million dollars of money from our children at SUSD and nobody's being held accountable for it. Based upon the evidence that we've received from the uh, whistleblowers, it's a slam dunk case. There's no reason this case should not have been charged and it's not. We have a district attorney who paid $267,000 to his political information officer for eight months of work. No charges there. His house hasn't been raided, he hasn't been arrested, and he hasn't been dragged to court. None of these people who are taking these kinds of monies and using them for their own personal profit are being held accountable. My client had a credit card over a two-year period of time with $3,200 worth of charges. It's about $130 a month. Her counterpart, Cecilia Mendez, had nearly 12,000 during the same period of time. The sheriff's office has already exonerated her, cleared her of any wrongdoing. Doesn't seem right. So we're gonna tackle it and we're gonna rid this town once and for all for corrupt individuals who are putting candidates forward, who are allowing their friends to profit off the taxpayer's money, off our school, off our children, and we're gonna fight hard to shine a light on it. Can you say this to mean that your client is being used as a guinea pig in this case here? No, we're saying our client's being used because she's a whistleblower bringing attention to people who have misappropriated funding in SUSD. Um, she was the one that stood up and said enough is enough. Let's investigate these cases. Let's look at these bad actors. And she was told by the superintendent that she was too afraid to take these people on because they're too powerful. She was then harassed and bullied and targeted on this investigation. How can you have an individual who is using her credit card every day for food to a total of $12,000 in two years not be standing here also when you have a person who had $3,200 worth of charges is standing here because she had the courage to say, I want to see everybody's credit cards. I want to see what we're doing. I want to hold people accountable for misappropriation, for fraudulent acts. Why is this $7 million gone? If you look at the $7 million, they put in a bid for it, and SUSD said we don't need it. We've met the threshold for the air fresheners. We've already spent a couple hundred thousand dollars on it. It was denied, which is the proper procedure for corrupt or to keep corruption out of organizations, is you have to go through this process. Three times this company was denied, denied, denied because they were not adequate, they were not sufficient, and they were not doing what was rightfully their responsibility. Then a third party intervenes, rewrites the whole request for um, funding, and somehow a number, uh, four out of these five board members vote yes. The one who said no to the seven million dollars of money that was stolen is Angel Ann Flores. Seven million dollars, thirty-two hundred dollars. She's in court with four felonies. Does the civil claim timing coincide with the charges were brought. Absolutely. We filed a civil claim against the district attorney and the sheriff's office for a violation, numerous violations of Angel Ann's right, and to uncover once and for all this corruption. A few days later, she's pulled over in a high risk stop with multiple officers and dragged off to the sheriff's office. You should see the bruises on her hands from the injuries that she sustained for a $3,200 credit card over a two year period of time. So we're gonna to get to the bottom of this. 
and we're going to figure out what is going on here. We're going to rid San Joaquin County and particularly Stockton once and for all from these corrupt actors Thank who, you. Are who are profiteering who are profiteering off off our children, off our county. Ms. Berber, can you explain city. how any of that has anything to do with the actual charges that Flores is facing and why she used a district credit card to buy beef tacos at Carl's Jr. in Lathrop at 11:43 p.m. and several other charges including Starbucks gas station despite there being a mileage policy with SUSD can we you can forward. you explain how this we has anything to, to do with the actual charges we look forward to answering those questions in a court of law we have no discovery yet so as of today we just got this brief little packet but we've been told there's quite a bit more coming so we haven't even had a chance but in court we will answer every one of those questions for you anything else why do you believe that your client is the one being singled out by the district attorney's office, by the school district, and what you're calling massive fraud and corruption? Because the people that are involved are supporters of the of candidates, and they are people who get people elected so that this kind of fraud and corruption can occur. So we are working hard not only to hold, we're asking to hold everybody accountable. If you're going to bring charges for $3,200, you sure as heck better bring charges for $7 million. Take it from our children taken from our children. Our teachers are out there protesting because they don't get good pay. Our kids don't have technology in the court, in the classroom. That $7 million goes a heck of a lot further than $3,200. So we're going to fight. We're going to fight. We're going to shine a light on this. And we're going to ask, why doesn't the district attorney have to explain why he paid $267,000 over eight months to his public information officer out of your and our pockets? Because it came out of the taxpayers. Why is he not in this court? Why is he not charged with multiple counts? Why are the people that took the $7 million, why are they not here? Why are they not being held accountable? We're here today, Angel Ann is here today to fight for SUSD, to fight for the kids, to get rid of the corruption, and to make sure that everybody has their day in court and everybody's treated equally and fair. That's it for us. Do you have any details Thank on you. what the insurance fraud charges are for? Thank you guys.